Fearless in the face of fate, Captain Midnight carries the fight to the enemy. Ivan Shark impersonates him, and Midnight prevents a disastrous coup by discovering the ruse. But then, on the trail of the gang, he meets his doom. Success. When you went over that cliff, we thought you were a goner. Yeah, I'm ashamed of myself. I should have stayed farther back. Are the government men waiting? I reckon they are, but we passed them in nuts and flat while they're picking themselves up. I must see them at once. Well, let that gang continue to think I'm done for. Spread the news across the front page of the evening papers. Now back to town and mum's the word. This is wonderful news. I want to congratulate you men on your good work. While the investigators are running around in circles, we'll strike a solid blow at airplane production. I still think we're flirting with dynamite, leaving Joyce and Mr. Edwards here. But this is the last place they'd suspect. It won't be for long. If my plan works, I'll make contact with the Sharks outfit immediately. Well, junk or no, here we go. <laughs> Say, I'm a poet and didn't know it. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you are, Cap. All in working order. My rangefinder. See here, Captain. I won't permit it to be used for your wild scheme. <laughs> There's nothing to get excited over. This isn't your rangefinder. Mud used your model merely as a pattern. This is of no value. A jumble of cogs and wheels. That's right. I ruined a couple of alarm clocks, but it's a work of art. <laughs> it fooled me completely. How will you attempt to use it? For months, Ivan Shark and his gang have been willing to commit any crime to get their hands on your invention. I'm giving them the opportunity. That copy is useless. How will they know it until it's too late? It fooled you. It sounds good, if it works. I think it will. Have you called off your operators at the garage? Oh, yes. And it looks encouraging. They're open for business again. What do you want? Nothing from you. I want to talk to the owner of this outfit. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm the owner. Ah, quit stalling. I'm speaking of Ivan and Shark. I've got something he wants bad. If he pays on the line, I'll deliver. You don't mean that? Yeah. The Edwards Rangefinder. Now get hold of him quick. I'm as hot as a cannibal's dinner. If he won't deal, I'll find another market. Wait. Wait, I'll see what he says. Number six, calling S1. S1 answering in person. Go ahead, number six. Man here claims he has Edward's rangefinder. Offers it for price. Interested? If authentic, yes. How much is he asking? Answer. Yeah, let me talk to him. Listen, Mr. Shark. This is Chuck Ramsey, Captain Midnight's assistant. I'll lay my cards on the table face up. Midnight's death cost me my job, but I'm not going to let it cost me my life, too. I beat it with Edward's invention, and I'll turn it over for ten grand cash on the line. How about it? Don't, Don't shut, up up that boss. Boss. Oh, shut up, all of you. I make decisions here. Good, it's a deal. I'm sending my men over for you. Martel, you and Borgman get over there in a hurry. Bring that man back. Usual method, of course. I'll attend to the arrangements here. Now, hurry. How long will I have to wait? Is he close by? Wait and see. I ain't spilling nothing. Is that 
It was parked right in front of a plug. What of it? There they go. We'll know in a minute if our plan works. Come on, buddy. We've got a car waiting outside. Nothing doing. I'm taking my boat. It's my getaway buggy. Okay. No objection to that. I'll show them the road. You follow. You boys round up that man in the garage. Take him to the Edwards place and wait for me. Yes, sir. Well, which way do I go? Get on Highway 66. 66 it is. I'll admit you're clever, but those cars are nowhere in sight. How do you expect to follow them? The trail is plain. Look. I apologize. We're changing cars, buddy. Fast. Oh, nothing doing. Oh, you're going to force me to get nasty and lose your ten grand. Get in that other car, quick. seen enough. From now on, you're playing blind man's bluff. Well, you were right, Major. I'm not as clever as I thought I was. They outfoxed us. Well, we still have a chance. Chuck may get away and... Uh... We can't wait. We must try something else. What have you in mind? A plan to use Ivan Shark's own weapons to lead us to his hideout. I'll explain as we go. has been well tested. <laughs> now for business. I understand you have something to sell. Something is right. It's worth millions. Well, that's beyond the point. You made a price. Deliver the goods and the money is yours. If Captain Midnight hadn't been bumped off, you wouldn't have money enough to buy that. His misfortune is my gain. No, don't you? We'll find a secret if it has any. Here's your payment. No need to count it. I rarely make a mistake. How do I get out of here? My men will show you. All right, kid, follow him. breaking our necks to get? Looks phony to me. Ten thousand dollars thrown away. Oh, Fury, don't jump to conclusions. I've lost nothing, I assure you. Maybe we did him in. No, I have seen a lot like that. There, what did I tell you? Fury seems to think this thing is worthless. Now, after looking it over, I'm inclined to agree with her. How about it, Fang? What did he expect to gain? The trail to our hideout, of course. What else? Load our large bomber with all it will carry. At five precisely, the Acme Air Plant will go into the sky. You're the boss. Here we go. I'm not going to waste much more time on you. I don't know nothing, I tell you. You know where Edward's invention was taken. Unless you tell me where it is, you'll spend the rest of your life in prison. Well, I can't tell you what I don't know. Well, I'm vain enough to think that the shark is clever enough to impersonate me. I can impersonate him. Watch the door, will you, Mutt, so that I'm not interrupted.
Joyce, take your father to his room. I don't want any witnesses to what is about to happen. What are you going to do? Shut up. Men, you know what I want. Your method doesn't interest me. Fair enough. He'll talk or else. I'm ready, my man. How do I look, Icky? Great suffering tomcats. If I had a gun, I'd pop you. <laughs> well, next time, don't doubt my ability. Out of my way. All right, buddy. Start chirping. We're not fooling. I can't talk, fellas. Honest, I can't. If I do, I'll be killed. All right, we'll have to give it to you. <laughs> now, whatever happens, Iggy, don't butt in. Get away from that man or I'll blast you. Let me do it, you fool. You'll have the whole crowd on us. Boys, that was a humdinger. I'll bet it worked. It worked perfectly. All we can do now is wait for results. Hurry up, boys, and get those bombs on. You know how the chief is if we're late. I knew you'd save me, boss. I didn't tell him nothing, honest. Never mind the gap. Step on it. We must get to headquarters. There's lots to do. And that means another bombing raid, huh? Come on, Father. Hurry. It's nearly time to take off. So it is. This is one time I don't want to be late. Bang. Put that away. Yes, Master. Come on, come on, get some speed out of this crate. Oh, I'll do this job myself to make certain. Where's my briefcase with the plans? Well, you had it. Oh, well, get it. Martell, you and Spot are going to tell the chief we're ready. Okay. okay. Thought you were in the hideout. I had to get him here, afraid he'd talk. Everything's set. Letter perfect. That date with the Acme airplane plan will be right on the nose. Good. Bombs in place? Yes, sir. As many as she'll carry. Hey, it's five bells. How about the takeoff? At once. All right, get this car out of sight. What's he doing here? We caught him coming out of that cell. Oh, you idiots. My father's in there. Get in there quick. All ready, boss. Oh, wait a minute. I'm handling this job alone. You alone? Can't you can't take a chance. I said alone. You fail me too any time. This job must go through. But, Chief. Put him in there. I'll send him after the raid. See if they do it, Fury. I'm taking off. All right, get him up. Well, doing it alone is Jake with me. I'm I'm sure sure. I didn't have to go. You better get inside. You ain't here. Grab him. What is this? Where's that plane I ordered? That's it. That's what's wrong. You took it up a minute ago. What? Sure. We saw you do it. Look for yourself. Clicked again by Captain Midnight. Roll out a pursuit plane. I can still catch him. I must catch him. Yes, sir. The guns are loaded to the hilt. If I fail to bring him down, I'll use them on you. All right, close me up. All right, calling Consolidated Airport. Clear the field. Coming in for an emergency landing. I have to land with a load of bombs. Emergency, clear the field. All right, signing off.
The vultures gather. Will they never tire of foul depredations against the nation? And is Ivan Shark destined for ultimate success? Will he never be tripped in the mesh of his own evil web? You dare not miss Death in the Cockpit, next week's spine-tingling chapter of Captain Midnight.